What's up guys? Today taking a look at how to make a power supply for your Rockman. So this is for the X100. First and foremost, I want to thank CyberCow for looking over my drawings and confirming that my drawings are correct. How to hook these two boards up to the Rockman. Very much appreciate that and uh, everything in the description is going to have these boards. They were $9.95 for six of them and then the 5.5mm uh, by 2.1mm female power jack. That's going to be in the description. They were $5.99 for 10 of them. Uh, everything you're seeing here is going to be on my Google Drive so you can download it and have it for yourself. It's high quality, you know, large resolution pictures and everything you're going to need if you want to check out the uh, thread where CyberCow is discussing this with another uh, member about his Rockman that he actually did this in. You know, check that out. And you're going to see over there um, BC, which uh, a lot abbreviation for, you know, buck converter. If you're looking to save money, this is the way to do it. I seen people on Reverb and eBay, they're they're fucking crazy. That there's no doubt about it. I would never buy a used power supply, even a brand new power supply, for you know $169 for one of these Rockmen because they're 40 years old. So uh, there's some other people out there that you know have boards for a hundred bucks, 109, and it's still a waste. You know, I mean, 15, 16, I don't know, no more than 17 dollars for what you need and you're gonna be able to do this. Uh, we'll take a look at my drawings and everything and uh, we'll take a look at somebody else over on the forum. It, he did it for a customer on his uh, base Rockman to power them up and you'll see these boards uh, in circuit. Anyway these are called the MP158 4EN DC DC converter adjustable mod module and uh, they are known as a buck converter. So over here you're going to notice negative six out and then the same on this side over here and down here you're gonna see positive six out and we're gonna take a look a little later after I go through some of this at the real boards and then how to adjust them first and foremost you have your input side and then your output side you have this uh, big chip here for R7 if you look up here you can see the little circle with a negative that indicates this whole side is negative. If you look down here this is positive with the circle around it so this is your positive side and again this is the same board so I'm not gonna you know repeat myself with that. First and foremost what you want to do and what I'm going to do is run a bead of CA glue and connect these together. And I'm going to take a piece of jump wire and jump from the positive side over here on the input to the positive side over here on this board. Then on the negative side of this board, I'm going to put a jump wire to the positive over here on its output. First step, remove these 222 microfarad caps. So over here you'll notice this is your power indicator LED and then this is your power switch. This is your guitar input, one of your headphone jacks and your other headphone jack. And this is C1 and C2. That's what CyberCow had told me. And uh, even though it says W204, these are C1, considered C1, C2. You want to pull these out of circuit. Nothing gets replaced into them. Now if we take a look over here at this black wire you'll see GND which stands for ground. If we come across here right behind the power switch and the right side of the guitar input switch you'll see the red one connects and there's a little positive sign the blue one is negative. If we take a look down here at where these wires go the one's going to come off over here and we'll get a better look at this in a minute then the ground goes to the middle and then the red one goes over here to the right that's looking at it from the very bottom so let's take a look at step two step two is a very detailed diagram that I made up this is a one spot so it's a nine volt negative center that's important here's that little 
female jack. So this little tiny spot here, that means negative center. This spot over here off the wall work, that is what connects over here. That's your 2.1 mil. The outer dimensions of this is the 5.5. That butts up against the inside of here. And that is positive. So you want to get the plastic ones. You could get the metal ones. But being I build a lot of pedals and they're metal cased, I always buy the plastic. But you can buy metal because the Rockman is in-housed in plastic. But if you're going to in-house it in metal, I suggest getting the plastic. If we come down here, this is the same jack as this, but we're looking at it from the back. This big, different looking lug right here is ground. And then you have two that are positive. Why do you have two? Well, one can be run for a nine volt battery, but we're not doing that. And uh, this one is the one we're going to attach. So the furthest one up. The furthest one up is going to get connected to your positive rail. Again, trim pot, circle, positive. You're going to solder that wire from this jack into here. Then we have already, you know, we had already soldered this red wire, jumped it over here to this positive. And then we come from the lug on the jack, which is our ground. We come in on the negative side. Just remember your polarity is over here. We solder it there, and then we already soldered our jump wire on the negative side over here to our positive side. So we have that. What I did not discuss in the last picture was this little ground jump wire. I have this little wire soldered between positive and negative here, so I don't have to run two ground wires up by having a small little side these boards are going to be connected and by just you know soldering this here allows me one ground wire and that ground wire if we follow it up and over and we come over here you can see there's a little G hopefully you could see that you're gonna solder that one right here now if we come back down here to the lower left where the trim pot is, you can see that little positive. That is going to run and be up here and be our positive 6 volt rail, which again is going to get soldered to this red wire and it does have a trace that has positive on this battery board itself. Coming back over here, we have our six, negative 6 volt out, which is our negative rail. And then that runs up and over. And then if we come over here, we just solder that right into the blue. And again, that has a trace and it. it just has negative. It, it has power. This is our ground and this is a positive and this is a negative 6 volts. So that's how you solder that up. Uh, let's take a look at somebody that already did theirs. This happens to be a base rock man. And you can see there's the uh, two boards. So again, if you look, this is the little circle with negative, the 4R7. And uh, that blue wire is coming out of there. And then over here would be our positive side, which our black is jumped over here. I was talking about the... Uh, jumper wire and then that black wire which you can't see it doesn't give that many pictures and then over here we have our positive wire running off the same way but there is two boards here and then if we look closely over here you can see that plastic jack he used the top lug and then over here the uh, ground and if we take a look at the other picture we can see how he mounted that in there. He just drilled a hole. And my suggestion is, uh, being that these are plastic, even the metal ones are plastic, I drilled the hole smaller and then kind of file it out oblong so you can have a, like this jack, you'll see it, it has two flats on it. So if you file flats on it, this won't be able to spin when you're tightening that up. Important part to note too is 9 volt DC sent of negative he put there. That's just telling anybody that goes to connect this in that the center pin here is negative. 
There's one thing that I did forget to mention before, and this is so important. Before you make your positive, negative, and ground connections over here to your rock man, what you want to do is you want to make sure you have power coming into your board, and you want to make sure you set this trim pot on the positive side, Cyber Cow had told me the uh, 6.5 to 7.2 is a good range. And he said these things are a little finicky, but once they're set, they're set. Say we're setting this at 6.5. He said the other important thing is over here on your negative rail, you want that to be 0 0.02 less. You want this side to be 6.3. And uh, I did see on eBay somebody else uh, made one. They had the voltage set at uh, 6.4 on the positive and then 6 volt on the negative side. So with that, let's take a look at the real boards and uh, get to soldering some stuff up. All right, so we got the two boards here. I already uh, super glued, well, CA glued them together. So... That's what they look like. So we're going to orientate over here the uh, polarity. So this is the inside, this is the outside, and we're just going to wire those jumper wires. Okay, so that's wired up exactly the way that diagram is. Alright, so we got our output rails, positive, 6 volt negative and negative 6 volt wire to the output now we'll do the input alright so we got our positive and ground input now uh, this is a 9 volt supply and it's 600 milliamp the Rockman takes 400 milliamp so uh, this should do fine when you're trying to find out what barrel size these are they're usually you want to look for uh, a 5.5 millimeter that's the diameter here so if we were to mic this you're looking at 215 thousandths and my other one was like 217 so that's outside diameter now in order to measure the little hole inside to get the correct 2.1 mil what you can do is take a toothpick cut the end off of it and if she fits in there like so and there's no slop chances are that is a 2.1 mil. So here's that little jack. You can see that's the ground. And then uh, the top one is for DC. And then over here on the right, this one here, that's for battery. And this is a switchable uh, DC jack. And you can see this is going to fit just nice. So the way this thing is going to get hooked up, that ground you can see hopefully in here that is the center pin so we're just taking the black input and we're gonna solder it to the ground here and then the positive will go to this top one okay so what I did here was uh, just attached ground to ground positive to positive and put it on DC we'll plug it in and take a look at where we're at all right so the wall is plugged in you can see that reads negative 3.3 to 3.2 volts all right so we got it all hooked up here we're doing the positive rail first so we got our ground connected to ground and then positive 6 volt here and we have this little trim pot turned all the way clockwise so clockwise and we're over here plugged in and this wire remember is hot so you want to block that if you have that cut so all we're going to do is put the screwdriver in there and we're going to turn counterclockwise and you're going to see the voltage increase so this side we want to set it to at least six point say four six five and we're going to call that good right there it's six five three now we're going to change the leads all right so all we did was take the negative rail here and connect it in and you can see we're all the way down so we're negative eight point two seven 
and we'll come over to this other trim pot and this one again is turned all the way clockwise so we'll go counterclockwise until we reach 0.2 volts less than 6.3 or 6.5 I meant or 6.4 we want to get down to 6.3 and there we go so you got negative 6.3 1 2 on the negative side and we got 6.5 on the positive and we can take a look at that as well okay so there you go there's the positive rail and then here is the negative rail you're all set up you can uh, wire this in now to your Rockman and you'll have a good power supply